It's a very busy day. More breaking news right now. A Denver 7 investigation could impact the political landscape here in Colorado. At issue is the U.S. Senate race, and we have discovered forged signatures on petitions that helped U.S. Senate candidate John Kaiser get on the primary ballot. Nearly a dozen voters are telling us they never signed those petitions, and the signatures appearing next to their names are not theirs. Well, Denver 7 political reporter Marshall Zellinger uncovered these claims of fraud. And Marshall, you've traced the bad signatures to one signature collector. Yeah, Adam, uh, her name is Maureen, and you can see it on the screen behind me. This is how she signed the petition indicating she's the circulator. And I want you to compare this, the handwriting of Maureen here as we show you some of the signatures that she collected on these petitions. So we checked, uh, uh, look, look at how Maureen signs her M. There's a very distinctive curl to that M. And now look at some of the other signatures on these petitions to help John Kaiser get on the Republican U.S. Senate primary ballot. Well, after meeting a voter last week who told me her signature was forged, I looked closer at some of the other signatures. Then I met 10 voters who confirmed for me that their signatures were also forged. Is your name on this petition? Uh, it is, but it's spelled incorrectly. Is it your handwriting? No. Is, is it not your sig is it your signature? No. Did you sign that petition? No, sir. I would remember if I had signed a petition for somebody, and it, it's just clearly not the way I signed my name. I tried to find the signature collector Maureen, but apparently she moved in the last month and a half from the address she put on this petition here. I reached out to the person who hired her, haven't heard back from him, and I reached out to, camp to Kaiser's campaign spokesperson, who has not returned my calls or texts, and I'm just going to double check real quick. Still nothing. So coming up tonight at 10, why what we've uncovered could call into question Kaiser's appearance on the U.S. Senate primary ballot. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.